Morning, welcome to Top Hat Soaring. This is version 2.0.4 beta in uh, January 2015. Today we're going to talk about a new feature which is available on the Kobo version of Top Hat. And this is the integration of a USB stick uh, into the Kobo. And what we've done is we've, uh, this is a standard Top Hat configuration where I have a 5 volt power source and a Y cable. Normally we would plug a GPS into here, more about that in a second. But instead we're going to just put this USB card in here. I'm going to turn everything on. Turn on this. And notice when I put the USB stick into the cable, and this normally could be a panel mount USB cable, and wait about three or four seconds, I get this new menu on the cop top Kobo menu and it gives me the option to copy the USB card onto the Kobo or go the other way and copy the Kobo onto the USB card. There's also a help button and what that help screen says is that this will copy the entire contents of the XCSOAR data folder either to the Kobo from the USB card or vice versa. Uh, and all of Top Hat's data, including its maps, its configuration files, and its flight logs, its IGC flight logs, are contained within that XCSOAR data folder. So when it copies the XCSOAR data folder, either to the USB stick or to the Kobo, it's going to copy or back up the entire Top Hat configuration. So let's look at it in action. I'm going to try this one here, which will copy everything from the USB stick. For example, let's say we're getting ready to fly and we have a new task file that we've built in CU on our PC and we've copied the task file onto the memory stick. So we put that in here. We go to Top Hat and we say copy the USB card to the Kobo. And this will update the task file along with uh, any other files that we have on there, any map files, waypoint files, um, configuration files, uh, airspace files. Now once we're in Top Hat, we're going to have to select those files to tell Top Hat to use those new files, but this will copy any additional files, data files that we have from the USB card onto the Kobo. Okay, so there's the message. Just took a minute there. USB card successfully copied to the device. Great. Now I want to show you one other feature which is that uh, we can install an upgrade using the memory stick too. I've got a different memory stick here and this one has the Kobo upgrade file that I got from the Top Hat website. And when I stick this file in it, it's called Kobo Root. That's the name of the, the upgrade file for Top Hat. When I stick this uh, in, I've got an extra button up top. It says Install Kobo Root Upgrade. So if I do that and I'm not going to click it, it will upgrade Top Hat to the next version uh, that you've copied on here. And again, if I just take the SD card out of the USB port, boom, the screen disappears. Now I want to show you one more thing which has to do with the wires. This wire configuration is a standard Y cable. And you always have to have a Y cable with the Kobo if you're using a USB accessory because you have to have this power come into the configuration. In other words, the Kobo never powers the stick. It needs external voltage. Same thing if you have a USB. This is a USB hockey puck. You know, if I'm if I'm flying and I have my USB device plugged in here, which is what most people do, they normally plug it in there. So how do you use a GPS device along with your stick? And the solution that I've been flying with is to get rid of the Y cable entirely and replace it with a small USB hub. And there's a bunch of USB hubs around. This is one I got from Amazon that works Amazon that works just fine. And I kind of like this one for flying because it, it doesn't have, you don't have to plug directly into here. It's sort of more flexible and easier to store with, you know, Velcro straps in the, behind the panel. I'm going to demo with just a normal USB hub, a little square thing here. And this cable is my power cable, so I'm going to go 
It's just a standard male to male USB cable, so that's going to go to the power source. This cable is my data end of the hub, and that's going to go into the Kobo. And so now I've got a USB hub with a couple of ports. So I can put my GPS hockey puck into one port, and that'll show up in the devices screen in Top Hat. And I can stick my USB card in here. Now again, we would probably have one of those nice panel mount cables for the SD card, and all this stuff would be behind the panel, and you would just have a USB data uh, adapter, just a standard extension cord that plugs into your panel mount. So you would plug this SD card directly into the um, panel. The reason that didn't work is I didn't have my uh, uh, 5 volts turned on. So once I turn that on, you see the hub is lighted up. I just stick this SD card in here, wait a couple of seconds, and Boom, I get my install screen. And if I look at the GPS hockey puck, I think there's a little red light on here somewhere. Maybe not. I guess there's not. But anyway, the, the, the GPS hockey puck will also work. So if I go into fly mode, I'll be able to fly. Normally, take the stick out before you fly. There's no reason to, take this, to leave the stick in there while you're flying. It won't do any damage, but there's no reason to have that in there while you fly. So that's it. That's Top Hat 2.04. Uh, thanks for listening, and uh, go to our Top Hat website at www.tophatsoaring.org. Thank you.